Dr. Nahid Bedelia is joining us now, an NBC News medical contributor, an infectious diseases physician, and medical director of special pathogens at Boston Medical Center. Doctor, it sounds like you're a very busy woman these days. I, I got to ask you, we know that this mutated strain is in other countries for sure. Experts say it's probably here in the United States. Why don't we know that for sure? Yeah, Contessa, great question. And I think you can say the same thing about other countries that haven't yet detected that strain, which is that to find that strain, what we need to do is to take a percentage of the samples that are diagnosed and do deep genetic analysis. And the U.S., our capacity hasn't been spectacular. CDC last week, for example, released a report that said that they'd only analyzed 51,000 cases of, of the then 17 million cases that we had had, which means that if the strain is here, we might just be missing it because the holes in our net are too wide. But the, the point here, though, to the travel testing is that this is why it's important for us to continue all the public health measures, because if this strain is more transmissible and in this country, a sure way to stop it is to continue all those public health measures. I mean, isn't the testing of people before they get on a flight a good precaution, mutation or not? I think it's one step. I mean, what we've found throughout this pandemic is that testing is one way you limit the spread, but you could still have people who are negative when they tested and get on a plane and turn out to be positive later, right? And that's why I think testing probably needs to be linked with some sort of quarantine. The other part is we're only requiring that testing from the UK, but as you just said, that strain is now in multiple countries. And so what about travelers from those countries, right? The, the, the last part of this is, again, since people can get here, potentially become infectious after they arrive, the best way to find them is to quickly diagnose them and identify if they carry that strain. And that's where that capacity, laboratory capacity is necessary. The researchers tell us that this particular mutation is no more deadlier than the COVID-19 that's already here. But as much as between some say 56% more contagious, some say 70% more transmissible, can we test here for this particular mutation? And do we? Yeah, and so that is that deep genetic analysis that I was talking about, is that we need to do, we need to take a larger portion of the diagnosed cases that we're getting, you know, and test them for the strain, and we're not doing that. The, the, the troublesome thing is that even though we don't think it increases mortality, the fact that it can be transmitted more easily is also actually a concern for worry, or a concern, a concern because the more people get infected, the more people will eventually end up in the hospitals and potentially pass away. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.